I saw you out with my friend at Barney's Beanery when you were here and I reached out to you and I said, let's hang out. And you never got back to me. No, that, that was, that was the first time I was in LA and that was a crazy week. That was a very crazy week. So I was like really wanted to, but at the same time I was so tired and like doing so many things that I was like, fuck. And then I was coming, <laughs> and then I was coming back and I was like, oh, this, this, this trip's more like, you know, okay. more fun and stuff. So I reached out yeah. to you and I was like, you seen it? I thought I thought we built something. <laughs> I well, we did build something. I'm sorry if that is we did, the case. We did. I, no, it's, still, it's still there. It's still there. It's still there. It's oh, the love's still there. Listen, love's puppy. There. When you say you were in LA and you were having a really busy week, like what were you doing? That that time I actually came. I was like, it was it, nothing. I bet you nothing, did. Came, nothing came from it. <laughs> nothing came from it. I did a couple <laughs> collaborations for my only fans, but. Okay. I was there. I, was there um, I got approached by your friend, one of your friend's friends who does documentaries and stuff like that. And she was like talking to me about doing some sort of documentary. And I just thought that, that it would be like a fun little um, experience, you know, get out to LA, yeah. maybe do a little bit of this and that. But it was very time consuming. And I still haven't heard anything back from that. So, yeah. You know, if, if you ever need, if you ever need career advice with that sort of stuff, like I can point you in the right direction. Like if you're ever yeah. like, I don't know if I should do this. You can call daddy. You can yeah, call me, sorry. You can daddy. call Zaddy. Daddy. And, and, but I, I wanted to catch up with you and hear what's going on with your life. And that's why I've organized this podcast. Cause a year ago would have been about a year ago. Now we chatted and you were doing that's great. Right. A year and, ago. I know. And, and are you still doing great? How's life? Yeah, still doing the same thing. I just feel like I don't know because I just enjoy what I do so much. It's just I'm just doing the exact same thing. Obviously, like because I've been mm -hmm. so consistent with it, um, a few like my Twitter page is sort of blowing up at the moment, right this minute because like the last few um, the last few collaborations that I did were like pretty different and unique and whatnot. So like, okay. I don't think many people saw that sort of thing on Twitter. So. It's, yeah, I'm just doing the same thing, really. I don't feel like there's any change or any difference, but let's see. What's unique about these new ones? What's What's unique? <clears throat> I put I put a lot of we put a lot of effort into the storylines and um, mm. did a whole like I was I was I was the um, the teacher substitute teacher at the school to there to um, bring bring the students into line, you know. <laughs> We had a bit of role play going on, a bit of um, script work, and my brain was going cra crazy with ideas. And amazing! Was, and how long is it? Like around about? What's that? Sorry, oh, it's a three part, three part series. So yeah, three part of like three fifteen minutes. Three like, or um, the scenes each are about twenty twenty to thirty minutes each, wow. and then there was like there's some we <laughs> I, I came up with some really crazy like. Um, Little teaser clip sort of things like, okay, just, just no nudity in them whatsoever. So they're actually safe. There's one on my Instagram actually right now where it's like, it was like a everything that like sort of led into each other. So there was like the student snuck out of class and I'm there going, did you sneak out again? Like next time you do this, there's going to be some serious consequences. <laughs> <laughs> and do you love it? Do so you love this creative side of? Are we, do we call creative. it? Is it called porn? Like, do I call it porn? I don't know what to call it, to be honest. Because I, I, yeah. I was in this weird like when we when I first started OnlyFans, I didn't never classify myself as a porn star until I got into actual studio porn, right? And even then, I didn't really think that. Uh, to me, porn stars like, you know, like you got to get to that level. You can't just like, oh, I'm, I just started OnlyFans. I'm a porn star now. Do you know what right. I mean? I feel like that just sort of like kind of like takes away from the name of being a porn star. It's like, sure. Yeah, but, but, but you, you did you, gotta, you did you a studio. You gotta, you gotta start thing. an apprenticeship before you get the certificate, right? So it's not like you just step we, in and you're like, I'm, I'm this now. Absolutely, but you well and truly have gone to TAFE and you've got your certificate, <laughs> like, you, and you've done you've done you've done studio porn now. Like, you are a porn star. Do you think? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've done a fair few scenes now. Yeah, I've, and, I've and, and, I, in the last year, I imagine you've done even more. Yeah, I've done a fair bit. Uh, the studio stuff. I've taken a step back the last few months just to like focus on my own stuff. Okay. Like I got a lot out of that as like a lot of, um, I gained a lot of, um, confidence with what I was doing and whatnot. And like seeing how the proper directors do everything. I got a lot of inspiration and because I've mm -hmm. already like on that path anyway. So now it's just like, I don't know. I just feel like everything just feels, 
I don't know, natural and fun. <laughs> it's good yeah. Fun. Let, let's just talk about mm-hmm. – I want to talk about the teacher one. Like, like let's walk me through the story. So the first – the first episode of this three-part teacher series, you're a substitute teacher and you come in. So tell me what happens. So the intro the intro to the first one, intros uh-huh. to all, all of them, right? So we're in class and I'm, I'm, I've am I'm got the, the drawing board there and I'm, we're going through what's on the drawing board. It was a yep. diagram of a penis and we're doing like <laughs> – <laughs> we've got like one i'm going this is the shaft da, 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 talking about it and then so i go it's biology yeah can anyone tell me what this number three is one of the students the, the bad boy student answers correctly i'm like oh good work good work and then when i'm doing it he sneaks out of class right and i don't know so just do anything so just before that one of the other students throws a piece of paper at me and i put him oh. like, you, you're, you got detention today you know like what are you trying to do like i'm so sick of your behavior Second yeah. one, the, the guy sneaks out after he answers the question right. And yeah. then at the end of it, I go, okay, and tomorrow I'm holding some extra credit um, assignments. So if you want, if you want to, if you're, if you're feeling a bit down in your grades or whatnot, and you feel like you need to like bring them up somehow, I'm holding yep. a special assignment tomorrow after class. <laughs> Amazing. But that was the lead into like all three of them. And then I noticed this, the students going on, I'm like, all right, all right, guys. Remember the extra credit tomorrow if you want. I've got to go. I've got to go. You know, sort this 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 situation out. Got it. And then I, and then I find I find him, and he's about to start smoking. I slap the cigarette out of his hand, and it's like, you think you're a bad boy? <laughs> Damn. And so, how many guys are in the like? Were there were there extras like in the class? Yeah, there was a few or extras. We did have a couple extras. Yeah. Okay, can I just put my hat in the ring that if you ever come to LA and you need an extra, do it. I will, play like I would really seriously fun. do it. I would say a couple of lines, like I will say a couple of lines. I'll do whatever, but I just want to like kind of get in and get out before any of the dirty action starts. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> I, and and just say like, a couple of things and then leave. I, I'm no, so down. But 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 just clarify for me. Okay, so how many guys in that room were you about to um, have sex with? In that, well, there was there was only four students, and out of them, three of them. Oh, okay. And then at the One same the, time, actually, no, not at the different same time. Times. Separate, separate, except for the extra credit one. There was two of them, and then also, while stuff was going on, another another teacher shows up. What the fuck? <laughs> oh, and <laughs> then what? Do you, do you, then you pretend you weren't doing like, anything? No, no. It's like, oh, come on. like I know you. Like I know you. I know you. I know you've been thinking about this as well. So wow. Think, oh wow. Oh. <laughs> it was pretty it was pretty wild. <laughs> oh okay. Okay, so and then he gets involved. So then there, like so a couple of them were threesomes. One of the the, right? the the third one was a like orgy type. The four four orgies uh four people classified as an orgy, so yeah. Yeah, because I've been wanting to ask you this, like I see on your Instagram and stuff or on your TikTok, they'll be like you getting out of an ambulance with like 10 guys. Yeah, and I'm like, wild, isn't it? but yeah, I mean, I, I, that's wild. But what happens after? Are you guys all about to have sex? Not everyone there. No, no, no. We did it. We did do a bit of a scene after that, but we got in trouble for that one. So that one actually got. Oh, because it's too many people. Deleted from our phones. No, the, we didn't really um, <laughs> clear up everything with the owner of the ambulance before we um, filmed that. <laughs> So we sort of so, had to so they didn't know that delete a little bit of content at the end of that day. Oh shit! So they didn't know that you were going to do like a bit of porn in there. They didn't no. know that. No. What did they think you were going to do? They thought you were actors, like just actors. Yeah, I guess so. Like I just don't know. It was pretty <laughs> chill up to a certain point where it was just like I don't know whether he was just like had a brain snap and he was like, "Wait up a second, I don't, I don't know." But it should have <laughs> maybe been, he uh, recognized maybe one of you. <laughs> Amazing, you know, because because what I love about your videos, and I send them to like, there's a few, like my of my friends who are very straight who know who you are, who I send your videos to when it's like when it's like you dancing, and then afterwards it'll be the guys who you're about to bang, like quite clearly. <laughs> yeah, and I always send them to friends because it's amazing. Like, what's amazing is like it, the video on its own is like okay, like these are like a bunch of attractive guys, but it's like if you don't know, like 
they're, they're about like, to have sex with each other. Like <laughs> they're about to go and film something, something and lead into something. Yeah. yeah oh, it's to- totally leading something. Yeah. That is the thing with my content. I don't like to just like meet up and be like, create content for the sake of it. I like to like come up with a, a theme for the scene. Mm-hmm. And then yeah. from that, that's the starting point for my creativity is that. And then from there I see where I can, how I can like create other bits of content that sort of funnel up into that. So it's like sure. all tied into each other. And do you ever write scripts, like actually write the script? The, for the teacher one, I did sort of write scripts. Mm-hmm. Like I had like the whole, like for the, for like a lot of the, the B roll clips that we did, like I had the way that it was going to be filmed. I had the, everything that was going on. Yeah. The lines and stuff. I had it like, the night before, sort of like just going crazy. My mom was just going crazy. I was up all night, just like. But it is something that I, I really, I've been saying it to some friends recently that I, I do want to get into like proper script writing, and I think it'd be fun. Yeah, I mean, if you can imagine a scene in your head and go, "This is what should happen. This is what should happen," uh, then you should write it in a script. And you don't really, because you don't actually know. Uh, like you, you can imagine it, and then when you start writing it, you're like, "Oh, that's a better idea." And yeah, you can actually yeah. get taken in different directions as you really think about it and put it down into words. Yeah. Uh, there's a, there's a, there's a, there's a, uh, there's an app called final draft. That's what all the writers oh, use final draft. Yeah. That's what you should use. Or I'll send you the details after this. Yeah, please but, do. So yeah, that's what another thing I was about to say. I think I feel like I need some sort of like to learn how to like write, to organize stuff. Cause it's, you put it on and then it can be a bit messy. And then I come up on my phone and my notes and, yeah, as, as a person who observes from the outside, I watch it and I go, it doesn't look like anyone's directing. Like sometimes mm. it's like, it's like, okay, and then you do something naughty and no one gives them direction of how to do something naughty. It's like, this is what you're going to do. And so yeah. if you, if you, you should be call me pappy on set and behind the camera too. Like be the daddy yeah. director and make sure that they, they, they do what you ask them to do. Don't give them free reign. Cause I don't know what to fucking, they're fucking doing, oh, yeah, yeah, you know, know, like just tell them That's what to do. If you, if you actually look at, if you jump on my Twitter or not and look at the PG ones, keep away from the nudity, maybe you can <laughs> see that there's actually like, they have like, because we went through the, the thing. I'm like, oh, no, you have like, we do the part where he sneaks, he's sneaking back into the room. I'm like, no, like stop faster this 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 and it's like yeah you watch me off the camera and it's like yeah yeah you're but, puppy. Then, but at the same time i'm like you don't want to make anyone feel awkward so it's like a laughter thing and you make it into a joke as well as fun. sure and it's like, no, no, we're gonna do it this way and then you get it right and then it's like this is the one guys come on D- delivering but- like delivering like um essentially orders is very, very difficult. And it's a, it's a social skill. So making people feel like you're collaborating with them when really you're telling them what to do is a skill. And the way that you do that is like what you just said, is like making it like fun and light and a joke, like make a joke out of it, not being too serious. So they don't feel like, Oh, they're naughty, you know? Yeah. Like they've done something wrong. And then it, and it makes it like, it like escalates into like a a snowball down where it's like worse and worse and worse. It's like, you want to, yeah. it's okay. Like you've got it. You're almost there. It's just let's yes. let's let's get this let's get this perfecto so that it goes good for everyone. Exactly. You should like a, a, a nice sentence to end with is like, "Don't you think?" Is so it's like you put it on them. You're like, "Hey, yeah, don't, yeah. I, I think it'd be better if you did this. Don't you? Don't you think? Don't you think that would be better?" And yeah, then they're like, yeah. "Yeah, yeah, yeah, yeah." And so it kind of becomes it like, like it's almost their idea. Yeah, it feels like their idea. That's what that's a. Uh... So, but tell that. me, like, I you, haven't you seen you. Of, like, I, that's why I want to, like, yeah. one day do a podcast with you and ask you questions because you, you've got all the um, expertise in acting <laughs> and stuff. I watched. I was actually on your um, your link tree the other day, and I scrolled down a bit, and there was that erotic, that really erotic film that you did, like a clip where it was like you really wrote, like sensual with this girl, and there was like feet touching and every like. Oh wish, yes! What was that for? That was really hot. <laughs> I mean, yeah, thank you. It's it's a movie called Follow Her. It came out a couple of weeks ago. It's yeah. uh, it's uh, like a horror. It's like a, an erotic psychological thriller. Um, it's 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 great, and it's not all erotic, but there are deeply erotic bits, like where she ties me up and she asks me to tell the truth, and if I tell the truth, 
if I lie, she tickles me, and if I tell the truth, she puts her foot in my mouth. Oh, <laughs> it starts to be. And that was bit. and that was our first day of shooting, Pappy. That was like wow. first day. That's a good way to that's a good way to build that connection with your same Exa- partner, right? Yeah. E- exactly, exactly. But I want to ask you because I've been over the last year, I've noticed less and less women coming across your page. You're definitely doing more gay porn than you were doing when I talked to you a year ago. Is this a is this kind of like just the way that you're being pushed in the industry that it's like that's where the money is? It's funny. It's a funny one. That it is where the money is, but at the same time, it's like I feel like a lot of the guys that I've worked with are more willing to because I, I don't know. I feel like maybe maybe that it's harder for guys to be noticed in the industry than girls. Like this is this is randomly like thoughts that are coming to my head right now. That might be the reason, but a lot of the, girls are a lot more busy and harder to organize sometimes. You know, like they've got this going on, they've got that going on. And it's like more of that. And the guys sort of just show up and do whatever, you know, because they're there and they want, and and because I'm building my reputation, they want to sort of like get in on that and get get from that. And I also, if they join me and they build build content with me, I want them to do well as well. So Mm -hmm. it's a win-win for everyone. Whereas most of the girls I'm with are already doing very well. So it is a funny one. I have realized that recently that, I had a few girl clubs lined up over the last couple of months that just something happened. Like one, one girl got busy. We had to reschedule another girl, something happened. So they just sort of fell through. So it's, it's funny. Like it goes through waves where it's like, there was a period where there was more girls and guys. And there's a, but at the moment I am, it seems like I am finding more, more guys. I've been going. Was... To... Mm-hmm. Sorry, go on, mate. I've been going out to Spain a little bit to the Grand Canaries as well and doing a bit of content. There's a okay, team. Lots there's of, a, lot of guys, um, a lot of guys out there. So, yeah. Oh, I see. Why did they set themselves up there? Why there? To be honest, I'm not 100% sure. I'm not 100% sure. It's just like seems to be one of these little spots where a lot of creators are finding themselves. Maybe it's like it, it is like a nice island. It's sort of cheap. There's like this very gay vibe, like very. Um, Gay pride sort of vibe. It's very friendly, mm-hmm. very open. It's like a very nice place. It's mm-hmm. cheap as well. So I'm not there sure. was there was this video the other day that that blew my mind from you, and I just I wanted to clarify what the hell's going on because I I forget what happens in the video, but it cuts from you over to two very like twinky twins. Oh yeah, <laughs> and Check just twins. clarify. What are their names? Check the Czech twins. The Czech twins. Now, are they? They're obviously brothers, and you had They're... sex with both of them. Not together. Not together. Not together. We okay. Do... So in separate. What do you mean? What do you mean? Not together. Well, so the first time we collaborated, um, they're still. I don't know, like. <laughs> it's hard. It's hard on because I don't want to like get too much into their story because I don't know how private they are with sharing ah, it but I know okay. that they're, they're, at the same time as they're, they're they're like twins so people like want to see that sort of thing they're still brothers right so they're still like oh yeah, you know so yeah, they like yeah. feel comfortable in certain things like when i was when i first collaborated with them one of the brothers had just started seeing a guy and he was very emotionally involved with him and he's like i can't even get turned on by another guy right now so it was that mm. And I was like, okay, whatever. So it just ended up that one ended up just being me and one of the one of the brothers. Got and it. And the second one, there was like parts where they were together, down on me, and then not. Okay, got yeah. it. So it's still it's still obviously very weird. Uh, like, I mean, you don't generally do that with a sibling, but it is what people want to see. Like, if there's twins, very, everybody's yeah. mind goes to the same place. You go, whoa, what the hell? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Right, I just very, couldn't believe it. They they do very well on the um, OnlyFans platform because of oh, this I bet. reason. Yeah, very well. So, <laughs> so what about the the turnover in like OnlyFans communities? Like, I imagine that people can get in and make a lot of money very quickly, and then you know, do we see a lot of drug addiction in the community because it's like, oh, the money's so good, you may as well. And or uh, is it pref- are there like it's a real profession like to get to get in like i don't know I, I couldn't imagine getting in and making money very quickly right so i've just started because it's funny like we're talking about the boy girl sort of stuff right i've just i've been 
my mind's been like at a point at the moment. So when I've got a lot of fans on my, on my main page that love to see, they ask me like, when's the next boy girl scene? And they also love the boy boy stuff. They just love everything that I do, and it's, it, which is, I fucking love that. I wish everyone was just like shared that. They were just like loved what I love to give, you know, that would be yeah. the ideal world. But unfortunately it's not like that. There are a lot of guys that do not want to see girls at all. Yeah. So if I post something with a girl, I see a drop in like resubs or like my fan count a little bit or people just like losing interest. So for a while now, I've been like trying to think of how I can like separate them a little bit. Mm. So not have like a page that's all inclusive of everything and maybe have like two different pages. So that's sort of where my brain's at at the moment. So I've just set up a new account with mm. that's just going to be boy girl scenes. Mm -hmm, mm hmm and that's it. So, but it's going to be just because it's, it takes a lot of my time running an OnlyFans page the way that I run it. I'm very engaged. I'm very involved. I'm very like my fans on my OnlyFans page know so much about me. They know where I am all the time. I'm always talking to them. I know, fuck, I know some of their, like, I know so much about them as well. Like, it's just right. crazy. So, because they can point. text you, right? So, is the texting, is the texting a huge part of that? Yeah, again, I'm, at the moment, I'm averaging like 70 messages a day every you're, every 12 hours. That you're getting yeah. in 70 yeah. messages or from yeah. 70 people? 70 yeah. different people, every like messaging every like eight hours and then I'm replying like that many messages each day. Wow. And so then are they – are they um do they have to pay every time they write to you? Is that the deal? No, so that's that's included in my um in my thing, in my fee, in my um subscription price. I I, I include Got one it. on one because I want to connect. The either, the reason that I even like I would I would like, I want to get to the point where my my um my main page is just all inclusive, no charges. But at this point that I'm at, I'm I'm making good money, but I'm broke. I'm fucking broke. <laughs> I've spent so much money this year on travel, moving oh. around, setting stuff up, paying for this, paying for that. Mm -hmm. It's just nonstop. And it's like, I, I just can't seem to get ahead at the moment. So I feel and like. Is that because you're investing like in your, like you're investing in what you're doing? Like you're, you know, paying for camera people and sets and stuff like that. Exactly. 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 Uh -huh. exactly. I'm paying for the camera person. I'm paying for the editors. I'm paying for. Even even a lot of the content that goes on my social media, sometimes I've got to get, like pay for someone to film those bits and pieces if I don't have someone there, or like to help film, take photos, all this sort of stuff. But travel as well, accommodation, moving around, like it, it is it is pretty crazy. So there's lots of money coming in, but there's lots of money going out, is what you're telling me. Yeah, there's a lot of money going out. Yeah. Now, am I wrong? I I feel like I saw a while ago that you were doing trans porn, like you were doing with people who are transitioning maybe or I, have, I have done i have done transform before yeah I have oh my god just done, tell me I've about done, that i've done a studio scene with um a girl called emma rose she's actually she won at the avn was it the avn awards i think she won um the not like she's the she's, she's number a one star. yeah she's, she's a, a star. star she's absolute amazing on camera just She's really? an amazing person as well, like such a big heart, lovely, fun, bubbly. Yeah. She got when I met her, she'd like she had like a crazy trip from America to come to Barcelona where everything so many things went wrong. Okay. And you're like, I, like even I would be like a bit like, Oh, I'm really tired. But she was like, I'm tired, but let's do it. Like I was like, oh, Yeah, like, you're amazing. Well, she just and must love really to have sex. And that's I mean, because yeah, yeah, like does, most people come alive. She's you got know, a very when they're about to have sex. She does love it. She does love it. She's very good at what she does. That was and so she, clarifying, she's trans. She's trans, yes. And fully transitioned, so she's like got a vagina. No, she's got, she still has a, a penis. Oh, and so yeah. I guess it's the same. You're always puppy, right? So you're always the one in charge. Always, always puppy, always puppy. So she didn't have sex with you in any way? No, 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 no. Have you, are was, you still uh, an anal virgin on camera? I am still an anal virgin on camera. Wow, still, how have you managed I still, that? I still, it's just, I, I do what I like, I do what I enjoy, you know? So I feel like if I, yeah. if I step away from that, I'm not being true to myself, which is not good for anyone. I want to <laughs> deliver content. I want to deliver content that's still real 
even if it's got a storyline. Storylines to me just make it more fetishy, like more. Oh my god, like fuck! I I, oh, I remember I had that hot teacher that I really fucking wanted to mm-hmm. get into the bathroom. Or, you know, all oh, that. Like I wish I had a a naughty maid or <laughs> yeah, you know, like the step you know, mom. Like, oh, yeah, stepmom, all that sort of yeah. stuff. So I want to get into that and really get into that. But at the same time, I'm still enjoying what I'm doing. I'm still, it's still natural. It's still real. It's still like, because the script is for the B-roll, but the mm. sex is free flow. Right. I don't want to be like, yeah. So, 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 the, 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 so the script is... The script has no, to be the, written kind of thing and the sex just flows. It's like whatever, yeah, wherever we are. Yeah, like we'll, we'll see where we are and I'll be like, all right, I think if we could do these positions at some point, like if we get to them, these would be really hot for the camera. Yeah. But let's see, what, let's see how we can get into this. Sure. And then how long do you spend in each position? Like what's the like minimum that you would spend? Like if you want, if, if you want to hit three positions, let's just say reverse cowgirl or whatever. If Let's just say you want to hit three positions. If three positions, it's going to be about eight minutes in each position. Eight minutes it's, in each position. Yeah, if if it's three positions, that's 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 because you want it to be closer to twenty over twenty minutes, right? Okay. So that sort of depends on that. But then if you've got so, foreplay, yeah. you know, foreplay maybe five minutes, sort of like I, I like to change up five like five different positions, foreplay in between, and stuff like that. So it's each position, maybe like four or five minutes and doing about four different positions. But if you had three, then maybe like six, seven minutes in each position with four play in between. Yeah. Wow. And I, yeah. I mean, I, I have to ask you because it just seems like, how are you, di- you're kind of directing all these and you're in it and your puppy. So you've got to be hard the whole way. And so you've got to stop it, and think, how do we get here to here to here? And then how do you just re? How do you keep the hard on going? How do you do it? That, that's that's mindset, rather. That's mind control. That's that's taking a while. When I first got into this, it was very hard. I had some very awkward situations. Yeah, I bet. Where it's like beautiful girl or beautiful guy down there, and I'm mm-hmm. like, fuck. I'm like, what's wrong? And I can't get hard. I'm like, what the fuck's going on? And like, this is. This is not. This is not good. And then, it, and that's the same sort of thing we were saying before about when you're trying to direct another performer to get to a certain point. If you make it hard for them, it snowballs down. My, mm. I was getting into my own head, going, "Oh my god, like, um, what? What's this person going to think? Uh, you this, 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 and your brain just goes crazy to the point where yeah. it's like, you need a break." <laughs> Yeah. So, so what do you do? What's the, what's the go to? You start like you take a moment and just like get into your head. I've been doing, I've been doing for, for a long time now, I've, I've been into meditation and okay. like really like it, it's still one of those things where it's like, you, have you do meditation? Do you meditate? I do. Do you I find do, yeah. that, do you find that you with meditation? It's like, like last night I had an amazing meditation session where I just dropped everything. I was very in touch. I was very, present with my breath the whole time my brain was very rarely getting distracted by things and i was very <laughs> in touch so but then it's like the night before maybe it wasn't as as much as that so i'm not as unwound so it's like <laughs> just over the years it's, I'm, I'm just slowly like i don't know it's just like it's very much mind and if you yep. if you nail the b-roll that's why i like to like get the b-roll out of the way and then it's like the sex focus of the scene or, sure. or depending on the um, other performer, maybe we do the sex part first and then we focus on the B-rolls after, you know, so sure. it's just very relaxed, very chilled. It's not like, all right, we have to do this and then we have to do this and we have to do this. Oh, like I, I don't like to work. I never would. I would never like to work like that. I never have worked like that. I've got very, <laughs> got very lucky with, um, when I was doing studio porn, the director that I, I've only worked with one director. Mm. I've never worked with any other director. And this director is very much like, how do you want to do it? Uh, he's there for you. You know, he's there to like, please the, the creator. He wants mm-hmm. to make you feel safe. He wants to make you feel like, and, and that taught me a lot, like to just relax, you know, it's going to be good. It's going to be okay. Like, let's just ease sure. through it. Yeah. 
uh, and and then like when you are getting into and that ed, ed, zone, edging, so like edging, edging helps a lot as well. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I want to get into the technique stuff. So let's talk about just quickly like when you lose your heart on, let's just say, and you want to get it back. Do you go into a meditation? And are you trying to get aroused? Like are you thinking of things that arouse you in order to get it yeah. back? Okay. But that's the thing as well. Like a lot of the times, like it is that you think of something that you you think of something that's that you know, like exactly like you said, you picture it. You got it. That's another thing. Like I've stopped watching. I've stopped watching a lot of porn to get my mm. imagination to be like that. Yes. Although when when I, it's funny, I get a bit bored of like porn hub porn, and I watch my own porn. <laughs> Do you like watching your own porn? Yeah, I don't oh, know cool. why. Like I don't know no, what it's it yours. Is, but, yeah, it's yours, bro. I mean, it's like it's what you do. So you know, you should en- you should enjoy it. It makes sense that you would. Yeah. I do. I do find like I know I do not watch porn, and I never have really. I mean, I have in my, my life kind of flirted with it, and I do find it killed my imagination. That's why I didn't enjoy it. Like I liked. It's so yeah. weird to hear a toddler screaming while we're speaking about this. Yeah, but, um, I, sorry, I can't, I can't hear. I'm like, thanks. <laughs> I've been watching um, a lot of your videos recently as well. They're so cute. Like, you oh, know, thanks, one, the Father's Day post that was very, cute. that was very touching. I love that. You're such a yeah, mate. You, I look up to you as a dad, as a father figure. You are very present with your kid. You're very there. You're very playful and encouraging, and ah, it's just beautiful. I love it. Thanks, mate. I appreciate it. Are you thinking that you would like to have babies at some point soon? 100%. 100%. I do. Yeah. Good. Yeah. You got to have somebody (laughs) who calls you puppy for real. Like, you know, (laughs) because everyone calls me daddy and it's like, it's, but it's different when it's like, yeah, when it's like the most adorable voice you've ever heard in your life calling you daddy. It just does something to your soul. Like it's, (laughs) it does something to your soul that it's, it's inexplicable. I can't even, that's what I mean. Like, you know, I don't, I don't know. I can't even like, I don't think I could even comprehend or imagine what it would feel like until it's happening. Right. Yeah. It's, it's, it, it really is. It, it really is insane. And I hope it for you. So you've still got your girlfriend, same girlfriend, right? I do. Yes. 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 Okay. Great. How's she going? Beyonce. She's good. She's good. She's good. She's is her name really Beyonce. No, I said my fiance. My fiance. Oh, your fiance. Sorry, mate. It's like, it's, if it is, <laughs> do you just call her Beyonce for fun? Okay, fiance. That's fiance. great. So, what, what's the? Are you have you got a date in mind for a wedding or no? No, no dates. We just okay. Cool. Going with the flow. I mean, what a woman, mate. You know, people always say to me like, I don't know how Cara puts up with you because I'm always making stupid videos. But it's like, what a woman for you to have her just be like, yep, he's out fucking some, some twins today. (laughs) (laughs) But she's so encouraging of it. Like when I I got back Mm -hmm. from Thailand and, um, I I was getting, I I went to Thailand for like, it was like literally a week and a half, two weeks ago. I was in Thailand getting tattooed. Oh, got retouching my legs. And then I got back and I got a message from some mates, some creators that were going out to Grand Canaries and they're like, Oh, you you want to come? I'm like, fuck! I'm like, no. In my head, I'm like, no. I just want to go home and spend some yeah. time with my dog and my partner. And I told her, and she's like, go. What? Are you, what? You fucking yeah. you stupid. What are you doing here? <laughs> go. I'm like, fuck. All right, I'm going. Book fly. Yeah, that's <laughs> that's great. Let's just go back to the. I just want to understand the trans thing quickly. The one, the 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 woman with the penis. Uh, what's like, how do you feel about that mind wise? Like, are you into like, does it arouse you? I mean, you got to act like it arouses you, but to be honest, like, because I'm, I'm, I'm the sort of person I don't, when, when I get asked like, Oh, what's your type? Right. Mm-hmm. I'm like, how can, my, my type's personality. Like it's a person, right? So the oh, okay. person, a nice person, like she's amazing. And that yeah. I'm like, like, I am attracted to you. Like you, uh, an amazing person. You've got a big heart, big smile, funny. I'm like, you're, you're fun. Yeah. So that begs the question. Do you ever have times when you've got onto set and you're like, I don't want to have sex with this person. There has been in studios one time and it wasn't even at the start. It was like halfway through and they started to complain about certain things. Mm -hmm. Like, Mm-hmm. as if they didn't want to be there. And I was like, 
this is just and it made the scene very hard it hasn't been released either so i don't know mm. if they're going to be i don't know with that one will be when, when i do my own stuff i build a connection with a person before we even meet and i also yeah. like to meet them before we even discuss content i want to see what they're like as a person see what their character see what their personality is like and then also create a scene that matches their personality rather than create a scene and try and force them to fit that that role. Mm. So I get, a, I get a lot of inspiration from actually meeting the person and being like, you know, like maybe coming up, like maybe being like, oh, you would be a very sexy, you know. <laughs> sure. <laughs> you would yeah, yeah great. You yeah. Yeah, that's cool. It kind of lets your imagination run. So, but you know, the way that I imagine being a porn star is this, right? Let's just say I'm a porn star and I meet up with another porn star and we, we're not going to film anything. We still have sex. <laughs> that's what I think. That's what uh, but I don't know shit. Like I'd be like, well, we're here. We may as well just have, we do what we, we love doing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's not the case. That's not the case. No, not for me. No, I don't yeah, know. So- I, don't, I don't know. No. But that would be probably cheating in your relationship a little bit, yeah. right? Yeah. I think that that would that would be the that would be the that would be a, a no zone. So my the thing is like yeah, exactly. It's still work. Yeah. <clears throat> and also also sometimes on scenes like I do I will take like a Viagra or a Camagra. Mm. Which is like the Camagra is sort of similar to Viagra where it's just like just makes you a little bit more aroused easily. Like someone touched you and it's like, Ooh, wow. Okay. okay. That sounds amazing. Just, yeah, yeah. And they, have um, you ever, have you ever, ever chomped one? No, no. I, I'm, I'm interested. I just, yeah, you as you know, as a father of two children, like it's like, you don't really want to be running around with a heart on and nowhere to put it. You, you know, to, you'd have to really pick, the, um, pick the situation. <laughs> you, had to, appropriately. you had to pick the time. Like we're on vacation or something together. Um, of which I, I love I'm totally. How in the background, we've got the, the zaddy zone. What's this picture from? I love that. Uh, it's some it's some <laughs> picture this this lady took for a, a magazine, and then we just took it and used it for the zaddy zone. It's so good. But um, <laughs> but um, I mean, here's a let's let me look at some questions that I've lost. I've lost my train of thought. Okay, yet to take it in the bum. Uh, have you done any other trans stuff? Is it is that one the only one? I did one. The... One of my um, one of my first collaborations that I did was with a uh, a girl called Celine, a trans girl mm-hmm. called Celine. Very yep. pretty, blonde, blue eyes. Also with a penis. With a penis, yeah. Got it. And uh, and, that, and that was that was before I was um doing sex bar, so that was very um oral focused. Yeah. Gosh. And how long did that last? How long did the scene last? Oral for the no, no no. How long did just the oral like era last where you weren't doing sex? I think like I think like two scenes. I think we did like two scenes that were like oral focus and then it was after that it was just sex focused really. hmm I did I've done a scene I did a scene just um recently that was um with another very big creator on the platform and he's very creative. We got together. We were in Grand Canaries, and we did. We we filmed a very like it was no sex. There was jerking off, and it was very like intimate, still like teasing, sensual, erotic, yeah. play. I think it was like twenty four minute scene in total, mm. and there was no sex, no penetration, and yeah, it was like I th- I got a I got good response from that. It was up and down, obviously. Like some people were like. <laughs> What's, what is this? But a lo- majority of people really, really, really liked it. So yeah, and then made- what's the biggest response you've ever got from a video? Like, what's the most viral or like which one? I'm to be honest. I feel what like it's, yeah. it's funny. Like, I, I have a, <clears throat> I have a, I have a clip on that I, that we made for the one of the teacher ones that was posted at the start of this month. And at the moment on Twitter, it's, it's got like 80,000, close to 80,000 likes. Mm. So it went, it went sort of viral, I guess you could say. 
but honestly, it's like it's like you do that, and then you're automatically thinking to the next one, right? Right. It's like, yeah. What next? And then you sort of feel like, fuck, you know, there's no, I I done it. It's like, all right, that was cool, that was fun, like it went well, but what's next? Yeah, so and that's a, like, I'm that's a two edged sword. Like, yeah, that's a double edged sword because it's like. It means like that's what success is, right? You get what you want and then you like don't want it anymore. You want something else. But the, on the other side of it, it's good because you don't relax. You know, you don't rest on your laurels. You're like, that did well, but it's not time to just sit around and, and look at how great I am. I have to continue to be good. So it's yeah, like, yeah. it's kind of good, but it's kind of bad too. Yeah, it is kind of bad. It's, it's sort of like learning how to step away from it and just separate yourself from it a little bit is very beneficial not to be too consumed with it all the time because it can really eat you up and just like take over your life in that way where it's just like next next i can imagine like sometimes when i watch your tiktoks i'm thinking the same thing i'm like what where did you get this idea from and then there's the next one i'm like fucking hell I'm like, you know it's like yeah i feel like we're all we've all got our different where our brains are all wide certainly like different ways where it's like someone looks at me and it's like fuck that's hard and then i'm looking at that person going what the fuck i could never do that and it's like we all think we're all crazy and yeah i mean <laughs> essentially just... like like the creative process for me is i re- i don't try and think about oh what's to do next like i hope that it comes to me and, mm. and it means that I have to be okay with not making anything for a week if necessary. I don't like yeah, to push. Sometimes yeah. I push and it's never yeah. good. Like it's just very rarely good if I push. Um, yeah. And that's the creative process for me. But also I think it's important to always note that you are not your work. So like if a video does well, that doesn't mean that I'm any better than two hours ago when the video hadn't done well yet. Or if a video doesn't well do well, then I'm not a useless piece of shit, yeah. you know? So I said to someone the other day, they said, oh, I can't believe you've got 800,000 followers on TikTok. I'm like, "Eh, TikTok followers, it doesn't really mean anything, does it? Like, it's like, yeah, I can still post a photo, a video tomorrow and it get 100 views, you know, like it doesn't really mean anything. I still have to stay creative and stay on top of that. And yeah, but explain Twitter to me though because Twitter seems to play an important role in your career Twitter is not policed as far as nudity is concerned like how does it work yeah. well it's it's policed in the sense that my you you can't just jump onto Twitter and search puppy Kochik and you won't you you won't be able to find my account easily it's shadow, right it's right, shadow right. Banned. it's shadow banned in the search bar mm. but if your settings are turned in the way of like privacy, like if you to adult you know, and stuff like to adult and that's the sort of content that you sort of want to allow in as well as other content, then, mm-hmm. then you'll be able to find me. But Twitter's amazing because you can just post whatever you want. As long as it's not insulting or the, it goes like, it's like incest or like, I don't know, like, um, you know, all that boundary crossing lines that you don't want to cross anyway. Yeah. And you're pretty great, you know? Well, as long as you don't get the twins on there. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. <laughs> so a question about like having kids, like let's just say you have a kid, right? Would you want them to do what you do? You know, I never actually thought about that. I don't think I, I've always said that I want, I, you know, one of the things that I want that this is a selfish reason to have kids is for them to teach me more about life. Because I feel like as a kid, they just have no judgment of stuff. So it's like I can watch them enjoy certain things and watch them like pick up and do whatever interests them in a way Mm -hmm. and just get enjoyment from it. So I don't know if I couldn't imagine, like, I I don't know any kids that was like, oh, I want to do porn as a a kid. Do you know what I mean? So I'm not really worried. I'm not really worried about that. So I feel like that would get, that would be at a certain age. Oh, like, totally, yeah. yeah. Not as a kid, I'm, you know. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, no, no. I know what you meant. I know what you meant. But, like, <laughs> but, I don't, but I don't think that would worry me too much. And I feel like if it did get to that point, then, yeah, I don't know. I don't think I would have the problem as long as it was a safe environment. And it was, if it was set up the way the mine's set up, 100%. I talk to girls even all the time that are just mm. trying to get into it. And I go say to them, 
make sure that if you do a boy girl scene, it's with a professional and not just some guy that wants to fuck you. Yeah, right. Because there's a big difference between someone that can make you change your whole mind on the industry if one one bad instance, right? So, like, for me, I'm respectful of the person and mm. want to make sure that they feel safe. Everything that we do is something that they're comfortable with, that they're, they're happy with, that they're this, they're that. It's always like that. Whereas you hear a lot of stories where it's like, oh, this guy pressured me to do this or he, he made me feel bad for not doing that. And it's like, it's just not, that's not, that's not really a situation that you'd want anyone to be in. Not your kid, not anyone. So, yeah. yeah. No, totally. And then, so I, I, I have to ask this because I'm always so interested. You know, for, for you, obviously, as the top puppy, you can't fake coming. You have to ejaculate. Yeah. There's no yeah, faking about that. What about them? Like, what about the other ones? Like, the, the women and the men who are coming, you know, the bottom and everything. Like, do they really come? Like, how often do they actually come? Are they The girls? I guess with girls, you can't ever tell, right? If, if the girl tells <laughs> yeah. you that they come and, and you say it, but you can feel, you can feel if they're actually, girls get wetter when they do come. But like mm-hmm. guys, guys can't fake it. Most of the time when, when I'll be fucking them and they're jerking off and then you can see the cum. Oh, I see. Well, this then is something I actually some... don't understand yeah. about gay sex though, because so if the, if the bot, if, if, if you are hitting the G spot of the bottom, he actually ejaculates. <laughs> I have had instances where the guy will jack, be able to ejaculate without without jerking off, but a wow. lot of the time, yeah, a lot of the time, a lot of the time they are jerking off at the same time, and then there are times where at the, at the same time they're like, I, I I'm not feeling it today, and it's like that's all right, we'll just create a really hot scene, I'll be able to come, and no pressure, no pressure on you whatsoever. And will you them, have them fake it though? No, 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 no. I don't think, I just don't feel like there's any need, right? As long as, if they want to come for their audience, then that's yeah. on them. For me, mm, yeah. I'm coming for my audience. So we're taking our content and I'm giving it to my fans and they're giving it to their fans. So yeah. if, they're happy to, if they're happy to give that to their fans, then that I'm happy. Like for me, my fans want to see me come. A lot of the time they're not too worried about that if the other guy did or didn't. But most of the time, 90% of the time, we both come. Right. And then what about the women? Are they, are they got, do they usually have to come for their fans? Yeah. Then most girls are really, the girls that I've worked with are very, 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 very professional and very, yeah, they know, they know what they're doing. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I imagine that people follow them in order to see them come. Yeah. 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 They want, yeah. Hundred percent. And so there are two different edits. Like, so for instance, like the guy that you're fucking, who's got fans, does he re- have a different cut that he gives to his fans, or is it the same? Like the same cut that you put out into? It the depends. World? I, I I enjoy editing <laughs> editing all my own content. So if we mm-hmm. leave, if we finish up a collaboration, and it's at the end, I'll say uh, normally I film everything on my own phone because I'm very in control the whole way through. Like I am puppy on camera and off camera, where it's like. Yeah. Look, this is this is it. This is what we're doing. Da, 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 da. I've even had like like it's like coming up. Someone come up to me like, "Oh, you want a collab?" I'm like, "You got any ideas for this collab?" Like, what? Yeah, bring in more to it, or it's just not like that. Yes. Um, so, what was the question again? I just got distracted. I, got I was like, "Did the do they ever ask for a? Do they ever recut their oh, own yeah, content yeah, to sorry, make sorry, it?" Yeah. So, like yeah. a lot of the time it'll be at the end and I'll say, do you, do you want me to send you the, all the clips now or do you want me to send you my edit? Yeah. And it's up there. If they want to edit themselves, because I know that it, most of the time the girls will edit their own stuff because our edits might be a little bit different. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Whereas, yeah. whereas it might edit it to be more focused on them. Mine's more inclusive of everything. And then we go from that way. Yeah. And have you ever worked with somebody who's just really unprofessional, but you still like love it? Like, like they're still awesome, but they're not very professional. Like, I like unlike the guy who was complaining about being there. Were there ever, ever anyone that you're like, gosh, this isn't very professional, but I still like enjoy who you are. <laughs> I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think. Like, what? 
Give me some more content. Yeah, like I mean, you know, so so, so if somebody's just like if somebody's just a fuck about, you know, if someone's just like I'm bit make maybe come a bit drunk or something, like oh, no, that would I've be unprofessional. That. Really? I've never had that. Oh, no, 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 no. So you're working with no. real pro- like people like they're taking it seriously. People aren't yeah, coming I, around. I, I, I don't I don't work with people just like I'm not like oh I got to work with all the big creators or anything like that because my my thing is that I'm not working with someone to gain from them. Mm-hmm. I'm working with someone because I can see something in them. Yes, right? and I'm you're like, going in to find it. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> going deep in to find it. <laughs> I love it. You know what I love about talking to you is you randomly flex your pecs from time to time. <laughs> Are I... you aware of that? No. You flex your pecs and you're not even like actively <laughs> trying to do it. <laughs> you're talking to me about something and you're just flexing your pecs like <laughs> – I love it. But also your wink, you wink from time to time. I don't know if you're obviously aware of this because it's your thing on TikTok. You you do the tongue and then you wink. But you wink like when you laugh now. Do you know that? <laughs> yeah, you I've laugh. learned a lot from the last, just in the last 30 seconds, I just learned a lot about myself. You laugh like, and you heck, wink. Heck, heck, like, ah. and, wink. <laughs> and then you I wink. Had few, I had a few, uh, just, just the other week when I was in Green Canary, a couple of the guys, I was like, Ben, I was in the, we were at the gym and I like bent over to get some weights and they're like, do you ever do anything not sexy? They're like you've been <laughs> over like this. I'm like, what are you talking about? Then I'm like at the bin, I was unpeeling a banana and one of the guys walks past, he's like, <laughs> peeling a banana is like you're sexual. <laughs> what are you doing? You're just naturally sexual. Amazing. Everything and you, do, just... do you make friends with these guys? Like, do you, do you feel like you've got some really good friends in the community? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's my main thing is to try and make friends. I want to make – I want to build – I just want to connect. I, I have done – I have actually been – I went to Colombia a few months ago and there was a big content trip and I had – I went there and I didn't even care if I made no content. I just wanted to meet everyone. I mm-hmm. wanted to meet them to see what they were like. I wanted to introduce myself. I wanted them to see who I was as a person. I wanted to see who I connected and clicked with. And just from that trip alone, I, I made some really good friends. I made, I mean, Malik Delgadi, he's one of the biggest, he is probably number one male gay porn star in the world at the moment. Wow. He's just an animal. Mm-hmm. And he's just met him. We just clicked from the day, from the very morning, we just clicked. We already knew about each other, whatnot, but it was just like, <laughs> yeah. and, like and just, yeah. And then there's when like, you say he's an animal, what do you mean? He's just really good at what he does. He's a good performer. He's he also his thing is that he he's he's a twink destroyer. <laughs> oh wow! Okay, he's so that's his. He's, wow. He's, he's in there. I'm more passionate and intimate, <laughs> and you know, like sexual. And Malik's just a bit of that as well, but it's more like. And his fans, <laughs> they love to see that. <laughs> wow! 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 And is he an OnlyFans guy, or is he a full pro? He's a proper professional porn star. He's mm-hmm. um, and also a big on. He's a big OnlyFans creator as well. So he's working very, 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 very hard. He's working very okay. hard. <laughs> and so you're quite Doing inspired a- by him. He's kind of like you, you. You like what he does, and maybe get some inspiration there. I get inspiration when we're together, as in like we we will like when we were together, we got ideas. We were just like coming up with funny things for like post ideas for Twitter and whatnot and like our scenes were really good. So we like inspired each other in that way. Apart from that, I like I look at him and see how hard he is working. That does motivate me as well. It makes me feel like I need to always be stepping up my game. Yeah. But have you ever that, done a have you ever done a funny one? Are they allowed, are they allowed to be funny? I mean I know that they're like kind of a little bit funny because like it's like, oh substitute teacher, boys yeah. are messing up. Are there any are there ever yeah. like what if they were like, for instance, like what if you, you know how you go to the DMV, it's called the Department of Motor Vehicles to get your license renewed or any of that stuff. Like what if like it's the DMV and you're like, you, he, they're asking for your information and they're really eyeing you. Like at first they start out sassy and then, they're, and then they're like, they kind of, you start to flirt with them and then you just jump over the desk and despite <laughs> everybody who's in the office, you, you, you fuck them like no one's there. <laughs> that would be funny. That would be wild. That, that would be like, funny. I feel like you'll but I just want to like 
<laughs> in LA, we need to get together, get a board, and just do some fucking drawing boards and like ideas, just like yes, flow. sketch <laughs> slash porn. Yeah. But I just don't know if that's See, a that's thing. Like, I would be uh, like, people, I'd people, be like, hey, yeah. I'm here. How much? How much? How much for an hour of your time, Luke? Let's let's brainstorm. <laughs> See, that would be an investment. That would be a, that would be an investment. That would be one of my expenses that keeps going out because I'm. You just don't I, I, know I, if that might work for people because. They, you know, women often say like that w- men who make them laugh arouse them more than anyone else, right? Yeah. And so, yeah. if laughter and sex was happening at the same time, you could have hit a niche. Yeah. It could be. It could be a good. That could be. You know. And I'm just thinking be... about the DMV. Like you cut away from this amazing sex that's happening to just customers just with their clipboards writing their details and just, you know, frozen watching. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> And just from time to time, you cut away to that. And so some person is off just having a wank over this, but also is laughing. That's great. Yeah. That would be funny. <laughs> that would be funny. <laughs> the Puppy Coachage Zaddy uh, collab has got to be, it's got to happen. Um, I really want to be, I'm, I'm I really want to be an I wanna, extra. I want to come back to LA this year in, I'm thinking September. Can we make something happen? Let's That'd be something. great. I'd love to be an extra. I talked to Cara about this last time. I was like, I really want to be an extra in one of these things. She's like, don't, you can't do that. And I'm like, yes, I can. And I want to, and I'm going to. <laughs> I want to be an extra who's there, who maybe says a line that's kind of funny. And then I leave. And then you do guys you do your get, biz. Do you still have to get the approval bar from Cara? I'll get the, Oh, from her, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, you did, well, you just you don't you want her approval, you know. You don't. I don't need it, but I want it. Like, I yeah, want you, want you to be exactly, okay with exactly. it. Exactly, that's hundred percent right. That's what I say. <laughs> yeah, I've even said like to my partner before. I'm like, look, if you wanted me to leave this industry, I would leave because I want your like, I want you to be on board one hundred percent. But there's yeah. never she's always like, no, like that's not what I want. Yeah, that's amazing. I mean, she's a she's a winner, bro. She is. She's definitely a keeper. I, Beyonce. I, Beyonce. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, mate. Um, as always, it's a pleasure to talk to you. I hope we Black get a chance Black. to actually meet this year. So Don't I'm going to email you my number so that you I can't escape you. If you, yeah, if you, when yeah. you come, you you let me know that you're here because I'd love I'll to be like on the hang phone out. Every, like, you better be answering. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Uh, and, and how do people follow you? How do people follow you? Like, what's ideal? TikTok, Instagram, Twitter, OnlyFans. TikTok, have you found TikTok being a bit up and down? Oh, yeah. They're, they're pricks. Oh, but also, because I travel so much at the moment, I've got so much content saved up to post on my TikToks at the moment that were created for TikTok. But because I travel so much, when I, I was in Bali for 30 days. No, mm. yeah. I was in Bali for like three weeks mm-hmm. and I would post something and it would go nowhere. Like a thousand views after like three hours. And it's like, what the? F- yeah. Fuck? So it was like, I've just been like sort of re- like, I don't know. I feel like I have to be in one position for TikTok. So TikTok at the moment is a bit hard for me. Yeah. They can just Twitter, shadow ban you for no reason. And your puppy coach be- on there. What's your. Yeah. Yeah. Puppy, puppy coach on everything. Uh, Instagram's puppy coach dot one. Just because okay. Puppy Coach, I don't know, was gone. Or maybe something happened with, I don't know, I can't remember what happened there. Okay. <laughs> Puppy Coach, one, one on Instagram, Puppy Coach on Twitter, Puppy Coach on TikTok, Jay Coach on TikTok as well. It's my food TikTok page. Oh, and is that just Kochik, the one, like pure tongue? Yeah, the, my, my food TikTok page, J K O C I C, is just all food. Okay, then, that's the one I think Puppy, I follow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We follow each other on that page. Mm-hmm. And then Puppy Kochik is um is my more Only funny fans. sort of Oh got it, got it. And then how do people yeah. find you on OnlyFans? So there's a link there's a link tree in everything. So on, on Twitter there's the OnlyFans page. Actually puppy dot com will okay, take cool. you to my OnlyFans page. Yeah. Amazing. I just and love I to know how many people st- follow started, this. I've, to... I've started a new only. You good? You started a new OnlyFans? Just this week. Sorry? Are you there? Oh, amazing. And that's just for, that's, that's just you and women, right? Yeah, I can hear you. So we, we cut out, we, we both cut out just then. 
can you hear me? Yeah, I think it's everything's okay. So you started a new OnlyFans just for you and women, right? Just of you and women. Yeah, so I could separate it, and um, because <clears throat> I, I I have <laughs> had. I've had a few guys sign up to my OnlyFans page. Uh, the message reads, fuck, I'm straight as fuck. I don't know what I'm doing here. And I'm like, <laughs> fuck. You know, like I, I want to appeal to every uh, – I want to appeal to as many people as possible. Yeah. Just to like – I don't know. Like why not, right? That's smart. So, I want, so I've set up a new account that's just going to be boy-girl content. Amazing. It We've run out of time. Papi Kocic. What a pleasure. Uh, it's such a joy to have you here, mate. So thank you for coming thank on you again. Thank you for having me again. Puppy and Zaddy, round two. Round three is going to yeah, be in baby. LA. So in, in person, baby. <laughs> it will be on OnlyFans, round three. <laughs> It'll be on OnlyFans. I'm, I'm holding you to that. Let's do some TikToks together as well. I have fun. I love TikTok. I think you and me could create some really funny stuff on TikTok if we got I have, out. I have no doubt. Yeah. I think it would be amazing. It would be. It would be.